Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a calculator properly. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have a somewhat advanced calculator, and I chose this because if you can learn how to use one of these, you can easily learn how to use a more basic calculator that usually only has these buttons basically over here, okay? You're only gonna see these buttons right here in a more basic calculator. So first and foremost, you wanna turn the calculator on, okay? So I can turn it on just like that. And it's hard to see because the screen is kind of scratched up, but it's sort of flashing over there. So the calculator is on. And in this calculator, you have the option of turning it off as well. But in most calculators, um, if you just leave them alone, they're gonna turn off after a certain amount of time as well. So I'm gonna turn it on once again. Now, you want to enter your first number that you are dealing with. So let's say I was gonna do five plus five, I'll put five. Okay, so as you can see right there, there's a five, and then I'm gonna put the uh, the operation that I want to use, which is plus, so addition, plus, so you can see it says five plus. Then I'm gonna put the other number that I wanna deal with, which is five as well. So five plus five, and then if you wanna get your answer, you're gonna push the equals button over here, which also says enter on this calculator, so push equals, and it gives you your answer, 10. Now, in a more basic calculator, it's going to only show one digit at a time. So I'm going to just uh, start that again. So I'm going to do, if I had a more basic calculator, I would put five, and it would only show the five. Then if I had plus, okay, it, wouldn't, it would only show one digit on the screen at any time. And then five again, it would only show the next five. And then if I had equals, it would only show the 10. So it would only show one digit at a time. In a calculator like this, you're gonna be able to see more of the screen, more of the digits, which is an added bonus, okay? Now, if you want to clear what you just did, you hit the clear button, okay? In some calculators, it might say a C or an AC, which stands for like clear and all clear. Um, but in this one, it actually says clear right there. Um, so the good thing is that if you wanna do multiple digits, more than two digits, I should say, you can do that as well. So let's say I wanted to do five, plus five, plus five, okay? So five plus five plus five, I can hit equals or enter, and it gives me the answer right there as well. So it works out really, really well because you can do multiple digits, and on a calculator, calculator like this, it's gonna show you all of those digits. You can clear it like that as well. Now, there are other options in this calculator that I'm not gonna go over. Like you can use brackets for more advanced uh, equations. Um, you can go back, there's lots of other options, but the main ones that you need to know are the digits, okay, that I outlined right there, okay? Um, also, the operations, so divided by, multiplied by, subtracted, or added to, okay? And then equals, okay? Very easy to understand. Um, in addition, you can also change a number to a negative. So I can use this button right here to change a number to a negative as well. In most calculators, it'll either show a negative or it'll show a negative in brackets, or sometimes it'll show a plus, a slash, minus. So that means change from positive to negative and vice versa, okay? That's basically all that you need to know with regards to how to use a calculator properly. Like I said, there are other options here, but I'm not gonna go over them because I'm talking about a basic calculator. There's also a memory option that you can outline too, but like I said, I'm talking about basic operation, okay? If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.